guys, Mr. Klein here with our first of two lessons in our chapter on light. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about light and color. In our next lesson, we're going to be talking about the basics of optics or how light can be bent or bounced and, and things that we use that in terms of lenses and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, what we see right here is a prism. It's a triangular piece of light. And because we have our light, white light shining into it, we see a whole range of color. And that's exactly is the whole reason why we see color around us. And what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to look at the basics of color, okay, at a, at a real shallow level. We're not going to get too deep into it, but we are going to learn some basics about color. So let's go ahead and let's get started. If you remember from the previous chapter on the electromagnetic spectrum, a small part of the electromagnetic spectrum consists of visible light. When we see natural light, it is white in color, but it's not pure white, for instance. Rather, it's a mixture of electromagnetic waves at various wavelengths. Of course, red, if you remember from our electromagnetic spectrum lesson, red has the longest wavelengths, violet has the shortest, and everything else lines up in between. And so those colors, in order of longest to shortest, is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, which is a bluish, purplish blue, and violet. So let's go ahead and let's look at the layout of colors on the electromagnetic spectrum going in the opposite direction from violet back to red from shortest to longest. Okay, so we have violet, uh, which is a relatively small area. You have a big grouping of blue. Um, you have indigos somewhere in the middle. Uh, the blue lightens out and then it turns to green. Then you have a long green turning into yellow. You have a brief period of orange and the rest is red. Okay, so these are the wavelengths of light going from a shortest wavelength to longest wavelength. Remember red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo in between blue and violet, and of course violet. So you might be asking yourself, why do your objects have why do objects have color? Why is an apple red, uh, for instance? What's the whole reasoning behind it? Why do we see that color? Well, when you look at, like I said, you see you look at the apple and you see it's red. Well, the reason why it's red has to do with waves of light. When white light shines on the apple, what will happen is the skin of the apple will actually absorb all the wavelengths of light except for the red. The red bounces off, okay, or reflect it, and those, that red light goes into our eye and we can see that. Now we can look at this diagram, okay, of we have of why an apple is red, and we can see that. So you can see the waves of light, all wavelengths, white light, strikes the apple. Everything but red stays in the apple. It gets absorbed by the apple itself. And red is the only thing that bounces off. And it flies back and it hits you in the eye and your eye accepts the, it converts that light into an image. So that's how we actually see colors, okay? And when people are colorblind, uh, the reasoning behind is like the receptors that collect these colors don't exactly work properly. Okay, so that's why when people are colorblind, they can't see colors. It's not because of the light or anything. It's rather their eye doesn't have the ability to accept those colors correctly. Now, what are colors? Well, determining the type of color depends on its source. There are basic colors of light, but these colors are different compared to basic colors of pigment. Pigment are substances made to reflect certain colors of light. Now, regardless of their source, we have two main categories of light that we're going to look at this lesson, okay? Uh, we now have a graphic organizer for this, but this is going to be, become important later on. The first category are what we call primary colors. They are the three basic colors which all other colors are made. Light has three primary colors. Pigment has three primary colors. And what happens when you mix two primary colors of light, you get secondary colors. And that's made a combination of two primary colors. And of course, you have tertiary and quadrantary, and it goes on from there. And we get almost our almost infinite number of, of colors. So let's remember as we go into this, the main three colors of lighter pigment are the primary colors. And when we mix them, uh, mix two of them together, we get secondary colors. Okay, so what are the colors of light, you might be asking yourself? Well, light, like we said, is three primary colors and when combined, makes all the other colors we know. The primary colors of light are red, blue, and green. So if you're in my class, you have this Venn diagram, and we're going to color and we're going to label them in. So I want you to go ahead and I want you to take this colors of light Venn diagram and color in the primary colors. At the top, we're going to have red. Uh, on the right, we're going to have blue. On the left, we're going to have green. Now, you might be saying to yourself, Mr. Klein, those colors look a little... I don't know. 
That's because these are the actual computer generated code for the color. So red is completely red, the blue is completely blue, the green is completely green. If you don't have that ex super exact color, that's perfectly fine, okay? Just as long as you know it's red, green, and blue. And go ahead and color that in. Okay, so now, let's, now that we have our primary colors of red, blue, and green, let's mix them and let's create some secondary colors, okay? You get a secondary color. The first we're going to look at is red and blue. Whenever we combine red and blue, we get magenta, which is a dark pinkish color. Now, you might be saying to yourself, Mr. Klein, I thought red and blue make purple. Well, magenta is kind of a purple. And remember, we're talking about colors of light actually mixing together. So go ahead and get your closest color to magenta, right down in the Venn diagram, and color in the intersection of the red and blue circles in magenta just like this. And you have red and green, which will be next, and we combine red and green and it forms yellow, okay? And just like before, we're going to label yellow and we're going to color that in. So red and green make yellow, red and blue make magenta, okay? So you have that, and let's create our third one where we mix green and blue. Green and blue form a color which we call cyan, which is a bluish green color. And it's kind of a light blue, so go ahead and color that in. All of these colors that you see, like I said, are made computer generated based on perfect mixtures of red, blue, and green. And if you don't have like the exact color, make it as close as you can. So what happens whenever we combine red, blue, and green light? Well, when you combine all the primary colors of light, of course, you get white light. Okay, that's what we see. In terms of light, you might be asking yourself, well, how do you get black light? Well, the thing is, black is actually not a color whenever we talk about light. Rather, it's just the absence of light. Image, uh, objects appear to be black because uh, their surface just absorbs all of the light and nothing reflects off. So what you're actually seeing is no light bouncing off of an object. So that's why it looks black. So that's what we have right here. Uh, this is our Venn diagram of the visible colors of light. Okay, Remember, your primary colors are red, blue, green. Your secondary colors are magenta, yellow, and cyan. And whenever we mix them all together, red, green, and blue, we get white. So let's go on to our last topic that we're going to talk about this lesson, or what are the colors of pigments? Pigments have primary colors that are different compared to light. They're essentially the opposite or inverted from the primary and secondary colors of light. The primary colors of pigment are this. They are cyan, yellow, and magenta. And what I did was I got the actual pigment colors. Uh, we use a system of CYMK, cyan, yellow, magenta, and black. And so these are 100% cyan, 100% yellow, 100% magenta pigment, which if you've ever looked at uh, a color printer, the ink from a color printer where the individual tanks are pulled out and they're separate, you'll see these, that they don't quite look like the cyan colors of light, yellow color of light, and magenta. But like I said before, when we talked about colors of light, use whatever colors that you have on you that are closest to that. So let's go ahead and let's mix some colors. Okay, let's get some secondary colors. First off, whenever you mix cyan and yellow, you get green, okay? And this is what the pigment green looks like. You can see it's a bit darker than green in, uh, in uh, colors of light. So let's go ahead and let's mix cyan and magenta. Cyan and magenta get blue, okay? So that's the, that's the, pigment, that's the pigment color of blue. And then finally, we're going to mix magenta and yellow. And magenta and yellow combine to form red, okay? So here's your primary colors of cyan, yellow, and magenta. Cyan and yellow form green. Magenta and cyan form blue. Magenta and yellow form red. And in addition, whenever you combine all three primary colors of pigment, you don't get white. You instead get black. Okay? And if you want to color something white using pigment, uh, what you actually do is you have to have white pigment in order to do so. So whenever you have black pigment, they usually get something black powder but if you want to mix the colors that's why whenever you get paint and you mix all the colors together you get a black color okay so this is our Venn diagram for pigment colors so you can go ahead and color and label that in and so let's go ahead and let's wrap up this lesson uh, by looking at both of these Venn diagrams and this is what they should look like on your page remember that colors are essentially individual wavelengths of light we mix all the colors of light together, we get white. And the reason why we see colors is because objects reflect off that color but absorb everything else. We have two main categories of colors. There's primary colors. That's the, the main colors that are mixed to form other colors. And whenever you mix two primary colors together, you get secondary colors. Light and pigment are two different objects, okay? Uh, pigment, of course, is a substance that reflects off a certain color of light. 
the colors of light, uh, the main primary colors are red, blue, and green. You mix red and blue, you get magenta. You mix red and green, you get yellow. You mix green and blue, you get cyan. You mix them all together, you get white. Pigment is a bit different. You have cyan, yellow, and magenta as your primary colors. You mix cyan and yellow, you get green. You mix cyan and magenta, you get blue. You mix magenta and yellow, you get red. And whenever you mix all the pigments together, you get black. So there you go. That's your lesson on color. Uh, we're going to be doing some labs involving mixing colors and pigments and stuff like that in our class. Uh, don't forget, our next video will be on optics and reflection and refraction of light and mirrors. So, and if as always, you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.